we're trying to recreate what has been thrown away, basically, because there was a time when vestments had all kinds of teaching on them. Um, just like the churches would have the beautiful stained glass, the fine art, the sculpture, um, even everywhere in the pews, little details about the life of Christ or the saints. So we're trying to bring that beauty back into the church. My name is Emily Ewell, and I am a co-owner with my husband, Paul, of Alter Worthy Handmade Vestments. I never thought I'd be Catholic, and I never thought I would be sewing vestments for priests. It's very strange to me how I'm here. <laughs> when I became Catholic, and uh, it was at Mass, uh, the bishop invited the priestly fraternity of St. Peter to this diocese in Seattle. And when our priest, Father Segudo, first came, he put a request uh, in the bulletin, could someone please help me with some repairs? And I hadn't touched my sewing machine for at least a decade, so I wasn't going to volunteer. And I waited for someone else to volunteer, and finally, when no one did, he just said, come on, I just, I really just need someone, just try. So I started to repair a little bit here and there, and then I realized I don't know what I'm doing, and I started to do research on the internet. And of course, there's no how to sew a vestment on the internet. But I just began to learn more and more about the history of the church, the symbolism in the church, and I just started to fall in love with my faith in a whole different way. And the more I learned, the more I wanted to know about the history of the church and why things are the way they are in old cathedrals and uh, specifically investments. So I started to do some searching on eBay to find good, beautiful old vestments. And what I found was a lot of things that were once beautiful, but that were no longer really worthy of the altar, hence the name altar worthy. And I realized someone has to do this. And I started looking around and I didn't see that anyone really was doing things that had a lot of symbolism and embroidery, at least not in our country. So I guess I just attribute it that God gifted this beautiful work and I just show up for work and just say, what should I do today? Because I never planned to do any of this, but I find so much joy in making vestments for the holy altar. It's like a sweater. You just pull a thread and it just keeps unraveling and you realize there's just no end to what you can learn about your faith, um, about history of the church. The fabrics themselves are the highest and best that we have to offer, but they are actually quite simply made by nature. So the silks, cottons, and linens, and also the cloth of gold is know, metal from the earth that is noble and simple and beautiful that are fashioned by man's ingenuity and then offered back to God on the altar for his worship. It must be a blessing because when you just take beautiful materials and you're creating them with love and it's for the worship of God, I just think it's beyond our understanding. They, they're just special. They're, they're just blessed, <laughs> even before they're actually blessed. I spend way too many hours doing this, but I don't feel tired or burdened by it. I feel really refreshed and happy knowing that I'm doing something in support of the priesthood. It's, uh, it's a great joy and a real humbling honor to get to do it. I can't believe I get to do this work. <laughs>